Kira Knightley, Sienna Miller, welcome to Scotland. Welcome to uh, the Edinburgh International Film Festival, your first time. Yeah, very happy to be here. Very exciting. <laughs> Are you happy to see the film being uh, premiered here in Edinburgh? Does this feel like the right place? It really is, you know. I mean, this is very rare because it is a completely British film. Um, obviously, with the exception of Killian Murphy, who is Irish, but, you know, it's British financing and, and obviously it's a lot of Scots and Welsh and English people all come together, so it seems really just wonderful that we actually get the opportunity to, to open the Edinburgh Festival. Film about friendship, have you two met before this all kicked off? We had, we had, and yeah. always got along very well. Yeah, we've had some good nights out. But there's a kind of intensity about the relationship on screen that presumably is, is pretty hard to fake. You've got to get on really, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Kira's always said as well, it's, and, and you're right, that's the hardest thing to fake as well. I remember you saying that, that you know anger and lust and all of those things are quite easy, but to, but to be able to be comfortable at hugging and being that intimate is hard, so yeah. it, it really helps. Now you're always lined up for this film, but you only joined just two weeks before shooting began. Yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was a very <laughs> happy accident. <laughs> I mean, you know, I think we were just very, very lucky, very lucky. I mean, in, in, in the relationship that, that we both had with, with the two other actors, Matthew Reese and Killian Murphy as well, we, we became friends. and. I think it's always helpful, particularly when you're doing very intimate, emotional pieces, that you actually feel like you're in a very safe environment, and, and I think that's what we sort of created for each other. So you were dropped in at the deep end, or the deep fried end, as we call it here in Scotland, and you had to pile on the pounds for this role, didn't you? <laughs> well, How did you do that? I mean, Catelyn, <laughs> didn't notice that, honey. Catelyn was a little larger than me, but I, I mean, I just ate a lot. Wow. But I always eat a lot. I think I've just been slightly bloated today. No, I wasn't looking to have here. But I could blame that on method acting or just greediness, Stephanie, <laughs> and good Welsh food. <laughs> Beer, probably. Was it a happy shoot? It was a great shoot. It was. Yeah. We did. We had a great time. We did have a great time. And you all lived together, didn't you? And there was, there was punk on the set, punk music on the set. Yeah, laughing and... punk rock music. Christina. Christina. Name? Yeah. Christina. Yeah, John Mabry. Just to get us in the 1940s mood. Yeah. John Mabry came up with a song that he just thought some me and Sienna up, which was really funny. Well, is that all there is? Very cynical. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it helped. to dance around to something and then, and then mm. the 1940s. <laughs> <laughs> So 1940s theme tonight about the whole premiere. Give us a hint about the dresses before we see the red I carpet. Didn't know no, we've not. Until Did no one tell you? So um, I don't have anything 1940s with me. So sorry. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, we <laughs> might try and do a little. Do you have anything to do? But with a hat, maybe. But no. No, 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 no. Just pop to Jenner's and Princess Street. Most of their stock comes really? from men anyway. So it'll be oh, fine. Yeah, I think. Well, we get time. Time. Yeah. Now, what about the accents? Perfect Welsh accents in the film. How do you do that? Um, no, it, I, I think, um, yes, we had a fantastic dialogue coach. I think it really did help that, that there was always somebody on the set who actually did have the accent that each one of us was trying to impersonate. So that always helped. I think actually, I mean, I don't know about you, I really, really enjoy do. doing accents. I think it helps kind of to totally create a completely different character. And, and if you're, you know, I mean, that's, that's why actors want to be actors, to be completely different people. And it's wonderful when you get the opportunity to totally change your voice as well. I find it I'm really hard to act if it was my own accent. I mean, it's, I just feel so much more vulnerable than having that. It's a mask, you know. Mm. If I had my way, I'd have a fake nose, one eye, a hunchback. <laughs> Which means it should be easy to do uh, Scottish accents. Come on, give it a go. Absolutely not. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Away you go. Thank, thank you very much indeed. Thank you both. Thank you. Well, she was around when I started writing it, so I started writing it on St. Vincent, which was um, an island in the Caribbean when she was shooting the first part of the, the Pirates trilogy. You were chaperoning her at the time. I was, actually, because she was 17 and she couldn't work uh, legally in, for an American company until she was 18 without a chaperone, so I had to, I had to go. Shame, eh? <laughs> but there you go. Um, so I was writing in the Caribbean, and, um, and that, was, that was just wonderful. And she was turning cartwheels on the beach. And I was using her incredible groundedness, her energy, her vitality, her humour to feed into Catelyn Thomas. Mm -hmm. um, when she read the script, of course, she decided that she wasn't going to touch Catelyn with a barge pole and she was going to play Vera, but that's daughters for you.